government has evidently put their money where the mouth is in as far as generation of electricity is concerned. But could a mismatch be arising where generated power is not being wholly evacuated? Because of uh, the drought and the shortages that we had, the government concentrated on the generation side. Now we find ourselves with generation that can't go to the consumer. Somehow the transmission side has been neglected. For power generators like ESCOM, it's about business. Because they have invested to produce more power, and it makes business sense if all of it is consumed. If we can get to a point where this is done, such that whatever is generated produces money, and no one is complaining, um, that would uh, ease uh, the, the, the pressure that is on right now. The power sector, which is a key part of Uganda's current and future growth, is still grappling with organic problems that characterize other areas of the economy. We've been challenged by the skills, we've been challenged by the improvement process, the, the approval process, we've been challenged by the procurement process, we've been challenged by the shallow market. Sometimes, for, uh, you, for example, so a, a supplier will tell you, I will deliver in March, and they deliver in September. The outgoing ESCOM boss will be replaced by Tozama Gangi, the new boss, come July 1st, 2015.